OC Spotlight. The one show, the only show that shows you the most incredible people doing the most amazing things right here in Orange County. And today, have we got a special guest with us? I always say that, but this is a this is a guest who's faced some unique challenges and who is just hitting it out of the park, overcoming all obstacles and starting a new business. Welcome, if you will, Aaron. How do I say your last name? I don't even know how to say your last name. Silov, C I L I V. Okay, Aaron Silov. All right, hang on one second. Let me switch over there. And we're going to get Dad to just hit this button right here. If you'll just press that right there and switch over when I get seated here. We'll do this the right way. We'll get a camera going and everything here. Wow, we're trying to do everything special here today. Welcome, Aaron. Okay, hit the, hit the button there. So it show, show us both in the shot here on the screen there. Okay, so we're going to do a video right there too up there. You're on the video here. So, Aaron. Yeah. I have come to know you here at UCI's Beal Applied Innovation Center. Your dad is an innovator here and uh, investor in a big project, right? Yep. You are more amazing than he is. I'm told that he used to have some big shot job at Microsoft. Is that true? Yes. I'm telling you, everybody does that. Nobody does what you do. It's incredible. Tell us a little bit about your story. And I know this, I know it's a struggle for you to talk. So we're going to be very patient with you here today because you're, uh, you've, uh, suffering from. I suffer from cerebral palsy. I was born, uh, premature. Uh, I was in the ICU for three months. Wow. And because you couldn't wait to come out. You got things to do. Exactly. I had <laughs> I had videos to do. I had this whole life I had ahead of me. I just couldn't wait to get started. There you so. go. Well, I know along the way you've had additional challenges, and I would just get this out on the table. I'm so sorry to hear this. It just makes your story that much more amazing. Your mother passed away. Uh, my mother passed away from ALS in November of 2020 during COVID, actually. During COVID, right. And one of the things you decided out of that is that you were going to put together a special memorial video for your mother, right? Yes. It does how I got my business actually started. Now, did you know anything about video? No. So how did you, and forgive me, you're, you have certain limitations. People would assume you can't do these things. Why did you know you could do it and how did you do it? Well, I basically wanted to keep my mom's uh, memory alive. Mm -hmm. It started as, you know, it's something my dad uh, was thinking of putting together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go pay somebody to do this and how do we do it? Who would know you? But uh, they wouldn't know your mother like you did. Um, no, and um, I, um, I had no idea that that simple video would turn in to what it is a passion a purpose a a, a business a that bi you've been putting together yeah. so how did you teach yourself is it is it difficult for you to use a computer i mean you you seem capable of doing lots of things here um you know with my cerebral palsy it's i tried like using See, I'm... Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're here for you. I, I am just amazed at the story that you have, and we will be here all day if it takes to tell this story. Believe me, this is incredible. Um, so did you start manipulating the mouse, or you were my, using speech uh, uh, to, to move the computer? What happened was my dad... Um, when we were putting my mom's video together, my mom wanted to, to do it. My dad wanted to do it uh, like an engineer would. You know? 
I know exactly what you're talking about. He's going to start at the beginning. He's going to do it in logical order. She was born. She did this. This happened. This happened. But there's no story there. There's no emotion there. That doesn't bring your mom to life. From, like, he wanted to do it from her birth to death. Right. And in the, in the, uh, in the midst of putting those pictures together, because he wanted to do it in chronological order, right. he wanted to put... Only way you tell a story, right? Start at the beginning and you go on. He you wanted to put some of her sick pictures mm. in the video. And so I was just like, Dad, I'm not, I'm not watching this if you're going to put those... Why would you want to remember those moments of your mom, right? Why yeah. not remember the fun moments here? So you so found another way. I I just said, you know, why don't we, why don't we remember mom the way she was before she got sick? Right. And how was she before she got sick? What, what's your memories of your mom? She was funny. She was outgoing. Mm -hmm. She was a great cook <laughs> a she great was, cook wow yeah. nothing better you can say about a mom can i say something too i hope this doesn't embarrass your dad no but after you came up with an, a more emotional story that that highlighted different moments and you found a way to put this together your dad told me he looked at the video and he fell in love with your mom again. all over again yes you, you heard that yeah yes so you did it you brought her to life you didn't just list the things in her life you made people who've never seen her or people who had forgotten what a wonderful person she was right yeah so how can you do this for others you decided then i did it once i can do it again and this is a bit because i gotta tell you can i don't want to embarrass you but if i had if i had cerebral palsy i don't know that i'd be launching a business um so I have a lot of people to thank um, for helping me. Well, we found a coach wandered into your life, somebody, uh, Mark Reed, who's been Mark, teaching. Mark Reed, mm -hmm. I have, I want, uh, we, I have Mark Reed that has he, helped He had me. taught at uh, Dana Hills High School for years in the yes, vocational program, yes. Adobe Editing Suite. And he happened to wander into the studio here one day and you happened to, I mean, you were aggressive. You said, hey, I want to do something here. And we're like, okay, come on, Aaron, you know, we're not trying to make you feel bad, but you can't do this. And you said, what do you mean I can't do this? I can do this. And Mark jumped in right away and said, of course you can do this and started working with what, here's what amazed me. I thought he'd do it for you. He was pretty hard. He'd say, I'd say, are you, are you helping her? I said, I'm help showing her. She's doing it. And so I want, because of those memories of my mom and the music, I wanted to kind of have those, the memories of... Help others share memories. Help others have those memories. It would be Do, different memories. Mm -hmm. it, but to bring their loved ones to life, life. To, to remember them in the way that you loved remember. ones or an event that had happened like birth that. marriage other sorts of things yeah big moments in your life yeah we all want to remember these things and we don't know what to do we got this stupid phone with us and we try and shoot a couple of things and we sit down like your dad and we say i guess i gotta go here one two three four five and it's not a very exciting story it's, it, it's not their story exactly exactly it's not their story story so what i want to do is like bring other people's stories to life because mm -hmm. i know what they're i'm gonna move these because i need to bump them that's totally okay sorry that's totally okay uh -huh. get that out of there i do it all the time here i gotta tell you that in telling other stories you have moved me you have your story, and that's why I have you on the show today here. We talk about people doing amazing things. You are doing something amazing. My hat's off to you, really. Not just because you're positive and upbeat, given all these things that have happened in your life, you're still dreaming and moving forward. You've got big dreams. Big dreams. 
and the ability because of the magic of the internet and the magic of a computer you can do this as good or better than anybody else that i've ever seen i can and <laughs> i want you to... can you really can i know you know you can yeah i cannot tell you how many times i got i got people saying like oh you can't do this because right. of this situation this silly situation I here mean, do people always want to say she can't do they want to make decisions for you oh please we got to help her she can't do it and you're like step back let me show you what i can do yeah let me show you what i can do i use comedy too too i, <laughs> I saw that in your silly video that you made I think it was like a highlight reel or something. Your little do a little video about your company here. Yeah. And Mark came back to me. He was laughing. He said, "Do you know what you insisted on doing at the end of this thing? Here's a serious video about a business video edit you can do. And at the very end of it, you got to put in some little joke. What did you put in at the end? We'll give them a we'll, we'll give them a little tease here. What do they see at the end of it? You decided to put in what? It's like a dog barking or something. Yeah. <laughs> I know what, where does that come from? You, you've got a wild imagination here. That, that's um, my way of putting humor. I don't like to use medical terms. Yeah. For um, Your my condition and everything, right? Yeah. Condition. So I like to make things, you know. You like, make people feel so comfortable. That's why I want people to see and hear you today here. Because why do we think if somebody has some sort of disability or something's different than us, we either don't know what to say to them, we move away, or we want to jump in and help them and do everything here. You're, you have an amazing talent. You have a gift, an insight to see stories and tell stories. And there is no limitation on what you can do in that world. Really? No. I, I, it's, it's incredible to me. I'm telling you. For your, to, you have such a positive attitude and such an outlook on life and such a willingness to help others, I had to have you on the show. Because you have inspired me. Thank you. <laughs> you have, you really have. Now, I'm telling people out there, don't do this just because you feel, oh, sorry, or you want to help or whatever here. This girl's good. This girl has, can see stories and put together something here. And I'm going to tell you something, you're not charging enough. You're not charging them. We got to get you paid more. You already got a couple of clients. I, uh, let me, can I tell you a little bit about Please. what we do? Oh, yeah. First of all, what's the name of the company? Uh, the company name is uh, Memories by Aaron. Memories by Aaron. E-R-I-N. Memories by Aaron. And you're going to get a website. I know you're in the process of building a website for this. We, we have it already up version one okay and this is memories by Aaron.com yeah okay all right yeah and what we so what the clients do is they basically I want them to look at the about page okay read what I'm what my what my business is about and your vision of how this can happen here how they send you pictures what kinds of stuff they, you're looking for they will go on my website they'll there'll be a form mm -hmm. for them to fill out right with what their information and what, what they're looking for and what you wanted to do these are all like what about five minutes long or something like that ten minutes maybe five ten minutes five yeah. um five max um and they'll go to my website and they'll um submit a form mm -hmm. that will tell me okay they want it for example for graduation or graduation right. or a birthday mm -hmm. and then they can choose the music mm -hmm. um by typing in the music mm -hmm genre that they want and do they how, how do they describe to you who this person is with this event do they talk to you do they type do you, do you ask them do you talk to them or is that still to be determined um, they fill out a form fill out a form 
and then you start the magic. Yeah. You have a point of view, maybe a different point of view because you're sitting in that chair, maybe a different point of view because of what you've seen in your life and a point of view that I don't see very often, despite all the hurdles that God's thrown at you here. I'm sorry, I'm a good Irish Catholic. Yeah. All the hurdles that God's thrown at you here. I'm, I'm telling a, you. I'm a, I'm a big... Um, you believer in something here? Believer in uh, God. Well, good. Well, because yeah. I'm telling you, you are, yeah. you're the proof that there is a God. Because <laughs> you make things happen. And all of us, I feel so ashamed. So many times I say to myself, I can't do this. I'm too old. I can't do this. I'm too I'm too tired. I'm this. You know, as you, long as you do things the Aaron way, the, nothing's the in The Aaron way. All right. Well, folks, I want you to go to Memories by Aaron and check it out. Because everybody, at one point or not, another, wants some sort of little video to, for a birthday, for a graduation, for a bar mitzvah, for a, uh, a wedding. Maybe it's a sad occasion. Maybe it's memory somebody here. But you have a way to do this and an outlook yeah. that I'm impressed. I don't, I don't want. My vision is to not let people be sad. <laughs> not to let people be sad from a girl who's had much sadness in her life yes is always smiling every time i see her yes all right thank you so much aaron you are can i hold your hand for a second and just tell you how much meeting you has meant to me here and how much i wish you luck and how much i know you don't need it because you're a special person here um i'm gonna need it later though so. <laughs> we all need a little help along the way thank you memories by aaron i'm telling you You've got an amazing story and you got a business that is well needed because we all need this and we're all looking for it. And you've got something to offer the world. You've proven it to us here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay. Wave to everybody out here. We'll be back next week with more amazing stories right here from Orange County's only community radio station, octalkradio.net. There you go. What do you think of that? Good. Thank you.